Congratulations for you. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you guys have seen by the title of today's video, I am bringing you all another shopping haul because I absolutely love shopping and also me and my boyfriend Scott, we went to Newcastle for our one year anniversary and we did just mainly go for our anniversary. We weren't really going to do much shopping but we ended up doing a little bit of damage, not too much. I didn't actually spend too much money to be honest so I'm quite proud of myself but of course I had to make a shopping haul out of this like the trip we went on because the Newcastle shopping is really good and I know that you guys like to see shopping hauls and everything like that and they also did have a Morphe shop as well so how could I not resist buying stuff from there because I am obsessed with my makeup and stuff. I did go into a few shops and spend a bit of money. I'm very happy with all my purchases and I'm sure you guys are going to love all the items in this video. But before we get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up. It would be nice to get to a like goal of maybe like 30, 40 likes. I'm going to go for 40 likes today so make sure to get a thumbs up up to 40 and it will make that happen. Also leave a comment if you are enjoying this video and also subscribe to my channel because it would be nice to subscribe, you know, help you get out and get to 4,000 because we will get there soon, honestly, trust me, we will get to that goal because I've been wanting to hit it for ages, but I'm not going to ramble about it too much because some people do get a bit bored of me talking about it. But yeah, without further ado, let's go on with the shopping haul. So, the first shop I think I'll start with is probably the Morphe shop because I love my makeup, as you guys probably can tell, and we don't actually have a Morphe in Carlisle where I live because there's literally hardly any shops there now because H&M shut down and all that and obviously like all the branded shops have closed down so the only good shop we have in Carlisle now is like a Primark and that's pretty much it so in Newcastle I was obviously saving money to go into the Morphe shop and I did spend an average amount of money probably like around £35 but yeah that is pretty good because the Morphe makeup is very reasonably priced, I would say, and I did get a lot of good bargains. So, firstly, I will start off with eyebrow pomade. This is probably the most boring thing in this Morphe like haul, but I got myself a new eyebrow pomade because mine is running out and it's in the shade latte. And oh my god, Morphe eyebrow products are some of my favourites. So, highly recommend if you want to try them out. They are unreal, and I use the shade. The latte in case you're wondering because my eyebrows are quite dark compared to like my hair like to be honest my natural hair colour has got pretty dark recently um so I do go for like a lightish kind of brownie colour and I prefer eyebrow pomades over pencils because you can kind of add like the hair strokes and stuff and add a bit of thickness and stuff to them so that's what I got and that was £8 I believe let's have a look at the receipt the eyebrow pomade was actually £7, so what a bargain. Um, and if you if you bought if you bought a eyebrow pomade from Anastasia, it'd probably be around £20. But Morphe eyebrow products are some of the best. So definitely have a look at their eyebrow looks like their eyeshadows and everything. Unreal. I then I got myself two lip liners because I had to stock up again. Um I got one in the shade Crush and Zippy. I actually have Crush on my lips today and I bought a backup because my other one is literally like this big now and the Morphe lip liners as well are so creamy, so easy to apply. Oh my god, all the colours are amazing. Crush, it looks really browny on the box but it's like a, like a pinky kind of purpley colour and oh my god, it looks beautiful with pink uh, makeup, like the lip glosses and stuff and light pink liquid lipsticks but it's more like a like a pinky purpley kind of colour but I love it and the lip liners are £4.50 each and yeah, they often do have the discounts on the liners as well but today they didn't but I think £4.50 for a lip liner is pretty good and then here is the sippy I've not actually seen the shade of this but I think it could be quite similar but probably like a bit more pinky let's get it out Oh yes, it's more like a pinky one, but oh my god, they're actually really similar to be honest, but yeah, I, I, I'm really happy, I'm really happy I got this because I love my liners and they're always good for completing the kind of like, 
the makeup look on your lips and stuff and now it won't close probably because I've ripped the packaging but it's fine um, and then I also got uh, what's this called it's the uh, I'm sorry if you can hear banging outside guys it's the next door are getting the things done to the house again like it's not the first time it's happened guys and it's really annoying me today so just ignore all the banging and loud noises if you can hear anything outside because I'm frustrated I want to get out of the house so after this video I will be going out of the house because I do need to film another video so get me out of here <laughs> anyway I got this brush M224 and it's basically an over camouflage brush so it's pretty much used for concealer and I do have like a, a similar brush to this but like a peaches and cream one and oh my god I love it there's so much carving on my eyebrows but I want it like a backup one or like or like another one I could use on makeup clients and stuff it's just because I do need some more brushes and like a variation of different ones and this one I think it could have been reduced I think it was actually £2.50 wait let's have a look this was two pound fifty. I think I, I think it was a half price in the in the sale, which is really good. It actually did have like a lot of discounts on their makeup brushes and stuff. So yeah, but this is going to be really good for like carving out your eyebrows and putting concealer on your eyes and stuff. And speaking of makeup brushes, I did actually get the Jeffree Star makeup brush set. All of Jeffree Star's makeup is reduced. If you don't know, the Jeffree Star brought out its own makeup range, and then. If something happened, I, I don't know what happened, it would be like a bit of drama, because you know what Jeffree Star's like, he's, he's all in with the drama and stuff isn't he? Um, and now Morphe have he, he seriously reduced the price of all his products, but I'm not complaining because I got myself a 10 pack of makeup brushes for £10, and that's pretty much worked out at a £1 brush, plus a makeup the plus the makeup bag, it's like a cute pink one. I'm not really bothered about the makeup bag, but I suppose it's handy having the brushes. And here are all the brushes inside. It's all sorts of different the ones. It's like there's some fluffy 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 I can't even say that word. Fluffy blending brushes, eyebrow brushes, concealer brushes, liner brushes, and yeah, these are really pretty nice. Oh my god, these are actually really pretty. Let's have a feel, see how soft they are. Oh my god, there's all sorts of nice brushes. Originally, I was going to buy a brush very similar to this, but then I found this set and it had 10, so I was like, right. But oh my god, they're so nice. That's how I feel. Oh my god. Yeah, they'll be perfect for blending out eyeshadow. Honestly, guys, if you want to get some cheap makeup brushes, head over to Morphe as soon as possible because all the eye brushes are unreal and it, it, these are reduced, so I'm super happy with them because I was in need of some new stuff like seriously in need of it so i'm happy with them i'm chuffed a bit actually you will see me in my makeup tutorials in the future probably using these brushes next door is really annoying me i'd hate honestly they annoy me anyway anyway finally morphe actually sell p louise and if you don't know i love my p louise i've got a lot of them on the colored bases i've also got their zero base and they were selling all the skin color bases so I picked one up in 0.5. Firstly, the packaging kind of does appreciate it. Once the P. Louise he pulls through with all her packaging and stuff. I actually have this base in the shade the Zero. So like, it's like a blank kind of canvas one, and it's really good for like eye looks if you want to cut the crease and stuff, or maybe put like coloured eye shadows on top of the, the base and stuff to kind of split the colour. Anyway, I wanted to get the one for like carving out my eyebrows and stuff because a lot of makeup artists use it and they say it's really good and I do love my base so I decided to get the base in 0.5 because it's my skin colour the good thing you have choosing the basis is it tells you what kind of like your skin tone it is so like fair with pink undertones and stuff and yeah but it's really good it's in the room of 0.5 and Peewee's bases will always have a special place in my heart so if you've never tried them definitely try them and this was only £10 which I think is really good because they do last a very long time so it's all I got from the Morphe shop next up it will be TK Maxx because I did get some good 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 deals in there hun right moving on to TK Maxx I did spend a little bit of money but not like loads but for the things I got 
I definitely got some good deals. So firstly, I went straight into the jewellery section of TK Maxx because TK Maxx do sell a wide variety of jewellery in there. Some of them are really nice and some of them can be a bit like, what's that kind of thing, you know? But that's what TK Maxx is like. Sometimes you can find some really good stuff and sometimes you can find like random things. You just think like, what is that? Like, who was buy that type of thing? But anyway, I actually own a pair of earrings of TK Maxx. I've had them for years and they're stone and silver, but like a rosy gold kind of colour with like a silver diamonds in them and they're so nice. They never irritate my ears because they are stone and silver. And that is why I like to go for stone and silver earrings because they don't really make your ears go green because it's like proper stone and silver, you know? Anyway, I decided to get myself a pair of these gorgeous s silver diamond platinum plated fine cubic zirconia earrings in stone and silver because for mine and Scott's one year anniversary he actually got me this gorgeous Swarovski, Swarovski, Swarovski ring um, the angelic one and oh my god I love it so much and I didn't actually have a pair of I didn't actually have a pair of earrings to match this ring so I got these how well do they match together these were 14 99 I've already had them on they are so nice to wear they look really pretty in my ears and I do have really small ears but they are really pretty and really suit them really well and the ring is just it goes with it so well so I was super happy with them the only thing is the box it doesn't close but to be honest I'm not that bothered. At least if you can sit in there and look pretty, you know, that's all that I'm bothered about really. But these are 14 99 I think for stone and silver earrings it's pretty good because sometimes you pay more for stone and silver. But yeah, I'm super happy and they match very well. So thank you TK Maxx for providing the goods. I'm super chuffed. Next up, this is something I found and I was like, wow, like, why is that in TK Maxx? And the person who served me at Hill was like, this is well nice. I was like, yeah, I know, right? Anyway, so in TK Maxx at the moment, they sell a lot of Tommy Hilfiger, like clothing, shoes and stuff, but more like the sweatshirts and t-shirts and stuff. And the TK Maxx in Newcastle had so many unbelievable Tommy Hilfiger clothing items, both in the men's and the women's, like a lot of sweatshirts in particular. And I had to get this because firstly, this is in my size extra small and usually it's really hard to find any nice things in extra small or TK Maxx that's what I found personally especially like Tommy Hilfiger clothing you should only really find it TK Maxx in like size mediums and larges or extra larges but I was absolutely gobsmacked when I found this so I got myself a Tommy Hilfiger sweatshirt it says the Tommy jeans on it it's like a lovely white colour and it's got the logo and everything and it's the red and navy writing one. Oh my god and this is an extra small i was super happy because i did not expect to find anything as unbelievable as this and this was 30 pounds it's you know, the proper genuine kind of thing extra small why would they be selling this in an extra small and taking max like i thought it would have flew out of the tommy hilviger shops but clearly not i'm not complaining so the £30 you've been thinking, you like to put a bit of money, but Tommy Hilfiger clothing it, it, it can be quite expensive, plus the quality is amazing and I don't think I actually have any Tommy Hilfiger clothing, but Scott does and it's always really good quality. And and Scott actually got the matching sweatshirt to this, but like in a blue colour, and oh my god, they're going to be wearing them together, like you're chilling out in them. I am so ex excited to try this on. I think I will... You try this on, like, after like, I've showed you this kind of thing, like a try on haul, you know? But yeah, you definitely head over to your local TK Maxx and find some good bargains because I'm pretty sure that they will have a lot of hill figure in there. But yeah, it's so nice. It's like a lovely colour and it'll go with anything as well. I'm, I'm really excited to wear it. It may be slightly oversized on me, but honestly, I don't care. As long as I look cute in it and it's comfortable then I'm happy, I'm a happy girl. Here is the Hilfiger sweatshirt. Oh my days, I am obsessed with it. It is kind of risky wearing 
the makeup with it because yeah it might stain it but I am definitely keeping this because it, it goes really well with my Zara jeans it's so comfortable it is kind of like a little bit oversized it's a good shop and I forgot the size small in it because otherwise that would have been screwed but it's really comfortable and this is like something I'll probably keep for the rest of my life because like it just kind of reminds me of vintage Tommy Hilfiger in a way with the logo oh my god the colour and everything the style I'm obsessed with it and for £30 it's such a bargain so head over to your local uh, TK Maxx and you'll be able to get yourself a good deal like this because I I'm going to be wearing this all the time Whenever I vlog, I'll be wearing it. Whenever I go out, I'll be wearing it. So pretty much, I'll be wearing it all the time, you know, guys. But oh my god, it's so comfortable. And I want to rip these tags off and put it on. Well, I am wearing it. But like, after, I, after, after I've tried everything on, I'll, I'll be ripping all these tags off. But yeah, I'm just, yeah, I, I can't believe I found it. I'm just, yeah. Yeah. Oh, happy days. Then... Finally, TK Maxx. Oh, here's my handbag. Can you imagine if I got this from TK Maxx, I would actually be over the moon, but no, it's, it's a snide. Sorry to disappoint. The final thing, TK Maxx often have some really good deals on the shoes, and I'm loving a bit of Puma at the minute, you know, guys. And in this TK Maxx in particular, they actually sold your junior trainers, because they usually either sell, like, adults trainers and kids trainers but they actually had the juniors in here so I was just shocked but I picked up a pair of these the Puma khaki trainers because I used to actually have well I still do have a pair of khaki no I still do have a pair of Puma trainers but they're not they're very supportive of my ankles but these ones are like a slightly higher and they are a gorgeous khaki colour I actually used to have a pair of khaki Adidas trainers and I really suit them but yeah these are in size 4 obviously because I do have baby feet hence why they were in the juniors and these were 19 and they're meant to be £54 so I'm super happy with them they've never been tried on I did try them on obviously but like they look brand new I love the colour of them they look all with jeans, black pants, shorts, anything you name it I'll be able to wear them for them and Puma trainers are really comfortable and the good thing is with Puma trainers as well guys is that they're suited for very narrow feet and my feet are super narrow so my feet it just like slipping them straight away. Lovely foamy material inside. Oh my god, oh my god, so comfortable. I'm super excited to I'll be super excited to rock myself in these round Carlisle or wherever else I go on my travels. Me and Scott I'm, me and Scott are meant to be going camping soon as well, so I, I probably wouldn't to take his camping with me because I'll probably wreck them. This will be something I will be looking after and keeping clean as as much as I can because I know that the trainers with any bit of white on them can get dirty like so quickly. But yeah, £20. Head over to your local TK Maxx because I was over the moon about it, Huns. Then finally, for the shopping haul, I had to go to Primark because I filmed many Primark hauls on my lifetime in YouTube. No. In my lifetime on YouTube, I mean. Sorry, forget my words, mixed wrong. And the main reason why I went into Primark was because I needed some more short PJs because a lot of them are either really short for me now or like it's going to be tight and stuff. And to be honest, I needed to kind of like update in my PJ wardrobe kind of thing because, yeah. So, but the only thing is, I am in an extra small in Primark clothing usually but I did have to pick a few things up in a small but it'll still fit me plus it's only PJ so who's going to see me really. Well first thing I got it was this kind of white ribbed kind of frilled the PJ top and this is in a size small and this is £3 and I got this because it'd be able to go with shorts and stuff and it's always a good colour to match with pretty much any pair of bottoms or PJ shorts and stuff and for £3 can't go wrong. I didn't have any of these extra small hints where I bought it in a small but it's because there won't be much there won't be much difference because like as long as it's kinda like it flowy on me and not too tight I'm happy. Like yeah. So the three pounds for that, be able to go with anything. They're pretty basic but you know it's just peaches. The next up I did actually buy this top and I really liked it. 
And Scott who did as well, but he didn't really like it as much as I did. But I got this yellow kind of like the Bardor style top for eight pounds in extra small. Um, and they actually had a lot of these in the shop, but I really like it. It is kind of see through, but I would have to wear a yellow bra with it underneath. But I really like it because, firstly, it is a very summery colour, be able to go with like jeans and stuff and shorts. Plus, I'm really feeling the yellow this summer. I recently did get a yellow the Zara top from Zara, obviously, because yeah, that's where I bought it from, and I really suit it. Um, but I didn't actually go into Zara because I couldn't find one, but to be honest. Yeah, that's a good thing because I probably would have did too much damage anyway. But I got this. It's kind of got like a like a floral kind of design on it. It's really cute. It's it's elasticated at the bottom. Um, I'm I'm hoping it suits me. I will try this one again, obviously. But for eight pounds, I think it's pretty nice, and I love it. Yeah, here's the yellow prank top. Honestly, I love it so much. It's perfect for summer because like it's kind of got like holes in it, and that would be good for like when you're really hot and then a bit of air like a bit of like the air kind of flows in you does that make any sense what i'm trying to say is when it's absolutely scorching hot and like there's no air and then it's like a breeze and it hits you and then at least it'll kind of like pass through your clothes and stuff and cool you down does that sound really weird i don't know i am wearing a pink bra with it and obviously as i said earlier I would wear a yellow bra with it, but oh my god, I love you so much. I probably wouldn't wear this with these jeans in particular. I'd probably wear like a lighter pair of jeans or shorts, but it's really comfortable. It's a little detailing and the sleeves on it are for £8. I love it so much and I'll definitely be keeping it because it is a perfect a little summery top. Also, did get for PJs. I got this, which is something that I really like, but it may not be it may not. Oh, oh my god, why, why am I getting my words mixed up today? It may not be to everybody's taste, but I got this the white, I think it's supposed to be a bra, but I'm not bothered because I'm going to wear it, it's like, it's PJs and my shorts and stuff, but it's so cute. But I got this the wireless, like, bralette, the kind of thing, and this is, this is, yeah, this was in euros on the price tag. I'm just going to look at how much it was. It was eight pounds. Um, and oh my god, they've actually had this in you know, like a nude colour, but the nude, the nude crushed me out. But oh my god, it's like a silky kind of satin, a bralette. I would wear this as like a bed top because it's really cute and you tie it up on the front. And they did have matching shorts for this, but the shorts looked horrendous. I don't know why they did, but just did. Uh, plus, they didn't have them in extra small, so that's why I couldn't buy them. But I don't mind. I love the colour of this, it's really nice. I like how it's got a bit of lace on there and this will be really comfortable to sleep in because I love satin. Like, I could sleep in it all day, but obviously, like, the satin PJs, it's going to be quite expensive. Like, I would really love the Victoria's Secret ones, but obviously, they are a lot of money. But yeah, I'm super so happy with this. I'm £30, it's really cute, and they're extra small as well. And then, I did also get another little top. It's like a red one. Scott actually told me to get this. And to be honest, I'm quite happy I got it because it's red, firstly. I don't actually have a lot of red clothing. And this, it says it's in a 2XS on here, but it's actually an extra small. But that's fine because I'm an extra small in clothing anyway. And it's kind of a very similar style to the other top, but it's it, it won't be see-through. And it's also got the frills on it and like the elasticated arms to help which I like so like at least it won't fall off you and it was six pounds so I'm super happy with that as well. But here is next stop. At first I wasn't really keen on it but now I think I like it on me and I probably wouldn't wear it with, with my jeans again. I'll probably wear it with like black pants because they look better but it's a lovely fit on me. It's extra small. It's really cute. I love the kind of like the ruched kind of the detailing on the front and the frills like on the sides and stuff so I will be keeping this out for £6 it's really cute and it's adorable and then the final two the things I got from Primark I love so much and I'll be sleeping in these for the rest of my life I got the, the two pairs of these ribbed the PJ shorts and extra small these were if I can find a price Fat, why does it say five dollars on them? I wasn't shopping in America. Let's have a look at how much they were because 
All the labels and stuff are different, aren't they? These were £4 each. So I, I got like a creamy whitey pair. It's mainly go with like this kind of the thing here. And then I got a lovely lilac pair as well because, oh my god, I don't actually have anything lilac. Oh my god, guys, these are so soft and these would be able to go with this top as well, which I think would be like a really cute combo. But oh my god, these are so comfortable and for £4, amazing. They did have these in like other colours, like a baby pink. I think they had them in like a grey. Um, but if they do... If I can't find any more colours of these, I will be getting these. And just tie them up at the front. Super comfortable, super soft. The Primark PJs are super comfortable and they're super pretty. So definitely have a look in your local Primark and find some. But here is the end of my shopping haul. I'm very happy with my purchases. I've I've definitely bought the more essentials at this time. I've not gone too overboard, which I'm, which I'm kind of happy about. I did spend most of money on food so I'm pretty skint now but it's fine like, I had a lovely time with Scott and also we would just have a lovely first year and the first we spent together in Newcastle I highly recommend for anyone who hasn't been to go to Newcastle it's really good for drinking and it's also really good for shopping as well so I highly recommend if you want to if you want to go shopping or drinking or both they definitely go to Newcastle. But if you guys have enjoyed this shopping haul make sure to leave a thumbs up comment down below also subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in my next video.